Recently, Genshin released one of my new personal favorite characters, Heizo. His playstyle is just so satisfying, and I'm a sucker for characters that use their fists. Along with his addition to the game, his special dish, The Only Truth, was also added. A special variation of the Katsu Sandwich recipe. The Only Truth is a variation of the in real life dish, Katsudon a rice bowl topped with a deep fried pork cutlet. Seems simple enough, right? But before we get started, just wanted to remind you that I do Genshin recipes pretty often so check out my other recipe videos and to subscribe and join my discord where I usually cope about my Genshin bowls. Links to everything is down below in the description, but without further ado, let's begin. First let's begin with the star of the dish, the pork cutlet. You want to find thick cut pork. Ideally around 1-2 to two inches thick if you really want it to look similar to the Genshin version. Clean and trim the pork cutlets of any excess fat if needed and then set the meat aside. Set out 3 separate bowls or containers. In one bowl add flour, in another bowl add panko breadcrumbs and finally in the third bowl crack an egg and beat it until the egg yolks and whites are mixed together. Season the flour with salt and pepper as well. To coat the pork cutlets, I recommend the dry wet method. This is where you use one hand to dip the pork cutlet into the flour which is dry. Make sure the entire cutlet is coated and shake off any excess flour. Place the pork cutlet into the egg wash and use your other hand to completely coat the pork cutlet in egg then move it to the final bowl. Using the hand that was used for flour, coat the pork in the panko breadcrumbs until fully covered. By doing this method with your hands, it avoids creating large clumps of breading around your fingers. Unless you're into that, then go ahead. In a pan, preheat oil to a temperature of 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 176 degrees Celsius. Carefully place the breaded pork cutlets into the oil. Cook for 4-5 to five minutes. Flip and cook the other side for another 4-5 to five minutes. These are pretty thick cutlets, so you want to make sure the oil is staying at a relatively constant temperature and cooking the meat all the way through. After fully cooked, place the pork on either paper towels or a rack to drain any excess oil. Moving on to another aspect of the dish, the egg. In a bowl, crack two eggs. Season the eggs with instant dashi if you have that. It adds umami, savoriness, and flavor. If you don't have instant dashi or you don't enjoy it, season the eggs with a bit of salt. Also add a touch of heavy cream or milk as well. Whisk the eggs until the egg whites and yolks are fully combined. Preheat oil in a pan on medium high heat. Once preheated, add the eggs in and continuously stir with a spatula. By doing this, the egg crits are going to be smaller and give a scramble texture similar to what is seen in the Genshin dish. Eggs cook really fast, so cook for only 1 minute. Cook for an additional 30 seconds if you don't really like the texture of soft or potentially undercooked eggs. Now it's time to assemble. Start off with a bowl of rice. Add the scrambled eggs in and spread them out to fully cover the rice. Carefully place the pork cutlet on top of the eggs. I'm not exactly sure how, but when I was recording, I thought the image only had 4 pieces instead of 5. Oops. Now it's time for my 3rd grade art class experience to come into play. In a small bag, add QP mayonnaise and cut a small hole in the corner. Carefully recreate the symbol and realize that drawing circles with mayonnaise is a lot harder than it seems. And that sentence is also something I've never thought I'd say in my lifetime. After the drawing is finished, garnish with 3 cilantro leaves and that completes the only truth from Genshin Impact. Without a doubt, this dish is delicious. I make katsudons pretty regularly at home so I was happy to see that Hazel's special dish was a katsudon variation. I hope that y'all enjoyed. Please let me know if y'all recreate this dish at home and let me know what else you'd like to see. Please remember to subscribe for more food content. And I'll see you on the next one.